Lydia bought a car for twenty thousand dollars. It's expected to depreciate at a rate of ten percent per year. What would be the value of the car in two years? Use y equals to a times one minus r to the power of t and round to the nearest dollar. Well, again, here is our exponential equation. Remember, a is the initial value. B is the rate of either decay or growth. X is the time. Y means current value. Well, the initial value of the car we see already is 20000 Okay. They told us the rate of depreciation is 10% per year. And we're going to use, we're going to write that 10% decrease as 1% minus 10%, which is the same as just 0.9. That's a 10% increase, or 10% decrease, sorry. Then how many years are we talking about here? Two years. Okay. So we want to figure out what will be the value in this case, what will be the future value, not the current value? Because we're taking today's value. The initial value is what we start if, and then we're predicting the future value. So that's what we don't know. Okay. So let's clone and substitute into our equation here. We know we're trying to find y in this case. We know A is 20,000. Let's see, that looks funny. All right, I need another zero there. I was going to make this a little smaller, but I'll do that. And then the rate is 0.9. And then make this a little bigger. All right, that's the rate. And we know that the time, which is X, is just 2. And we can just put this in the calculator and solve it. So here's what we have to calculate. And I'm just going to go to the calculator. I'm just going to just basically just insert a calculator page here. Let's see. Let's do this. How about this? Down to three. Put a calculator down here. And let's just put this in. Let's just go y to 20,000 and let's put in our parentheses. All right? And let's just raise that to the power of 2. We get 16,200. So, going back. All right. So, Leah's house will be worth Fifteen thousand two hundred dollars. Two years. I get two years from now. Two years from now, and that's exponential decay. Okay. 